Good morning, good morning. How is everyone doing this morning? I wanna come in and just share something that came to me while I was in meditation this morning. You know, what if the natural aspect of us is our energy, is our energy frequency vibration? You know, we've been reading the Christ letters and it's talking about um, electromagnetism, electromagnetism and bonding, reactivity, bonding and rejection. So I'm thinking if it seems like um, the real aspect of, uh, uh, of us is like physics and, uh, and stuff we did in school, that's that's what the real aspect of us is you know what came to me was that's why when we when we were a little child they talked about oh this is a car this is a man this is a woman to program that into our subconscious you know so what if um, the natural process wasn't interrupted what if um, when we were born, we, we weren't taught that this is what a house looked like, or this is what a car looked like, or this is what trees look like? Just imagine, let your imagination go wild and, and try to imagine what we truly would look like. All energy, all vibration. I, I, I remember someone showed a picture of the stars just vibrating, vibrating. There would be no, no reason to hate anybody. There would be all love. There would be no physical aspect of us to, to hate. And it seems this is what religion try to teach us. This is, seems like what religion try to tell us about um, going inside, see with your your eyes and hear with your ear. It's nothing. The kingdom of God is nothing. It's within us. That's what Christ's trying to say. It's nothing physical. It's all inside your thoughts. We call law of cause and effect. That's why we have these laws, these universal laws that rules. These universal laws rules the true aspect of us that energy form of us, that vibration form of us, that what these universal laws um, really rule. So the law of cause and effect, that's our thoughts. And that's the, that's the thing. It says, um, if you read, I was doing a study about our, th our thoughts create our reality. Our thoughts create our reality. So everything is happening well, we could call it in the spiritual realm. Nothing is happening in the physical. Nothing is happening in the physical. If we want healing, we have to understand it spiritually, scientifically, it seems, and in <laughs> and in um, physically, sci not physically, scientifically, and spiritually. We have to understand that that if the if our thoughts are that powerful that we we can create um, our reality, that means and it says we create um, the 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 we have the power to create the the world we want to live in. We create the world we want to live in. So if our thoughts are that powerful to create our reality, but the problem is us with us is we're creating a physical reality. Let's start creating a spiritual reality. You know, we're creating because of our beliefs and we only see the flesh, we only see the physical things with our eyes. That's the reality uh, we're creating. So what if we just go on the spiritual realm and think we are not this flesh? This is not our true, who we truly are. And the true test would have been if when we were born, we weren't, if we have a child born and not indoctrinated, not saying what a car looks like, just let that person grow up in, in the way he was born and, and to see what he would see, what a human looks like. It would look like what us. I think in in the deep aspect of us, we all look alike in some form or another. We're all connected. 
and that's why all these we're reading how powerful we are we draw our mind from that from the divine the universal mind from that universal consciousness spiritually scientifically it seems like i i know i didn't like physics and chemistry growing up but it seems like that every whatever we want we have to go in the spiritual realm we have to get everything physical get it out of your mind get it out of your mind and that's what the christ letters been telling us all the time that's what the christ letters been telling us that we we the kingdom of god is within is telling us that everything is inside we have to get out of the physical and that's what christ saw that's why he was able to do all the healing and the miracle well the other part is how do we access this power within us how we use it how do we use it where we get that energy from so if you're out there and you want to add more to this just add it let let me hear your knowledge let me hear what you have to say it seems it, it, it the, the bible is trying to tell us it's nothing physical nothing go in the church it's all good it helps to bring our bring our energy up and everything but in order to reach that kingdom of god it has to be spiritual it seems as if it has to be on a scientific level it's everything vibration energy uh, frequency we have to understand that and that's how god and i see that and i think that's how the, the creator sees us by our by the energy we're giving off by the way whatever we're, oh we're vibrating that's why he already knows what we need he already knows that we're sick so maybe if we can allow our thoughts to create the world in the spiritual realm not being affected by the physical allow our thoughts to to create the world we want to live in and so we can get out of this world that we have created for ourselves so and that's why i couldn't understand when he says everything it's our belief it's our belief that um that why we're in the situation we're in it's our belief i can't believe it. it's our belief because we don't understand who we truly are so we're creating this physical um kingdom around us and it's causing us sickness it's causing us disease now we have to start creating spiritually start creating spiritually god bless everyone share share your thinking with me this is just my thoughts this morning um, what if we're just all alike in the natural realm? We're just all alike, vibrating at a certain frequency, energy. And this, as it says, as, as above, so below. So that's the talk about electromagnetism. And I saw somewhere say that's the physical aspect of us. That's the part we can see. We're all made up of electric and electricity and magnetism. Please, please share your knowledge with me. God bless. Have a blessed day.